G'day guys, Greg here. Well, I'm on my way to my favourite Aussie chicken joint, Red Rooter. Now apparently they've got some new waffle cones out. <laughs> I tell you what, I do love some cones. Now I've never had some stuff with chicken before, so this will be a first for me. So let's whip on in to the old Red Red Ready Red Rooster and grab some waffle cones, see what they look like, see what they taste like, see how much they cost and then I'll give them a score out of 10. There's a purple haze on the horizon. So let's whip on in and grab some cones from Red Rooster. Let's do it. Alrighty, well, here we go. The Red Rooster waffle cones, take a look at them. Now one of them is maple bacon and the other one is barbecue bacon. I'm guessing this is the barbecue bacon one because I can see some like barbecue sauce on it. And this one's maple bacon, I think. I don't know. But it's got uh, Texas Ranch dressing on it, apparently. That's what the girl in the shop told me anyway. So here we go. And they're a pretty good size too. That's what she I'll said. tell you what, if you were punching cones this big, you'd be... Now these waffle cones cost $5.95 each, so I mean they're not the cheapest thing in the world, but I mean they were a lot bigger than I was expecting they would be. That's what she said. But uh, and the, there's nothing to hold them in. I don't think you'd be able to drive and eat these, let's let's just say that. I think these are a sit in the restaurant and eat it, or be fed it by someone sitting next to you. But uh, I'm pretty keen to try what, see if this waffle is a sweet waffle or if it's savoury. Oh, well it's sweet. I wasn't expecting that and um, well I'm a bit nervous now because bacon and the sweet waffle and those chicken pops together. Is it going to work? Is it going to like all blend in and taste great? Well let's find out. Yeah. First bite in and the mouse has already got something to eat. And it's gone all over my pants. I just washed these! Now I'm not too sure about that flavour. I don't even know which one this one is. I think it's the barbecue one. Oh, I think. But uh, you can see the bacon on there. and It's got like this yellow sauce there. Don't know what that is. No, I still don't know. But I'll go again. Mate, it's so full of sauce. And unfortunately, this sauce isn't the best tasting sauce in the world. But it is loaded with those chicken pops. And I think they're buttermilk chicken pops. And the chicken pops are pretty good. Anyway, I'd love to be able to put this down somewhere. Or I can try and stick it here where my indicator is. Let's see if it fits there. <laughs> it fits perfectly. All right, well, let's try this one. I think it's the maple bacon. I think. I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's try it. Ooh. I guess correctly. You can definitely taste the maple in this one. It's not too strong a maple flavour, but it's definitely there. And what's this sauce? Ah, that must be the maple ranch. Maybe if I was a Canadian, I might really enjoy this, but for me, the taste is, well, it's okay, but I don't know, I'm just not used to these sorts of combinations of flavours. It's it's a, quite unusual. Some might even call it cute. And I think in the old school days, if you got called cute, that means you're ugly, yet interesting. Which pretty much describes what this is. I'm going to be struggling to finish this, I think. And I've got two of them, so I don't know how on earth I'm going to be finishing both these off in one sitting. And to be quite honest, I don't know if I want to. Let's go back to the barbecue one, see if it tastes any better after I've tried the maple one. Mm, mm, slightly. I thought I might have preferred the maple one after eating the barbecue one first, but after trying the maple one, 
and then the barbecue one I think this one might just be a little bit ahead although I better go the maple one again actually the maple one's not too bad after like trying to get through all that barbecue sauce that's on there it's it's not the nicest tasting barbecue sauce but then again that Texas ranch maple dressing that's on this one here isn't the nicest thing I've had either. But I think I've had enough of both of these now to know what score I'm going to give them out of 10. Value wise, 5 dollars that's six bucks each. Well, you know, you know, it's right up there in price, but I mean, it is a fair weight and uh, you are getting quite a few chicken pops in there. So value, well, it's something different and it's probably okay. Taste wise, well, I'm not too sure which one I prefer or which one I don't like the most. They're both not very appetizing. They're both not exactly something that I would go out of my way to go and grab some of. It's something that I probably wouldn't go seconds on again. So I guess if you like maple, I'd be going that one. And if you like barbecue, I'd be going that one. These things are really sweet. In fact, they are sickly sweet. But for an all over value, all over flavor, all over taste, all over everything score, Red Rooster for your chicken waffle cones, I'm giving them a... 5 out of 10. I just can't get past the sweetness of them. And the sweetness and the savory, to me, I, I just don't get it. Maybe if I was a Canadian, I'd be all over these bad boys and think they were top shelf. But I'm not a Canadian, eh? So to me, they just taste a little bit off-putting and it's something that I wouldn't come back and try again. Anyway, that's the chicken waffle cones from the old Red Rooter. Have you tried them before? What did you think about them? Did you like them? Have you tried them both? Which one did you prefer? Quite frankly, I don't prefer either of them. Anyway, that's another review done and dusted. If you liked it, remember to show it some thumb and love. Don't forget to subscribe to the best Aussie food review channel going around, in my opinion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I review something. See you then. How do you even get this out? Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are finger licking. Ooh yeah. Actually, I think I'll change that score from five to three. I can't even finish it. Who wants to eat sweet waffles with savory? I don't know, not me.